Hey, how are you doing? It's a privilege and honor to be serving you at such a time as this and welcome. It's not by happenstance that you're listening to this content. We are on a journey going somewhere to happen and you are more than enough. So if you haven't started your business yet, I strongly encourage you to do so because what you have in your hand is enough. If you know there's something that you enjoy doing and you've been putting it off, then now is the time to maximize the moment, seize it and get the ball rolling. Start it, just to start is enough. You can look at the start as something big, you can look at the start as something small. Whatever word you want to give this start, just start the process. If you want to call it a little step, a big step, a tiny step, just start the process. If you've been making up excuses like, oh, I need to wait until I've got a luxurious camera, I need to wait until I'm inside of a spacious place, when I've got a bit more comforts and I feel just right to start the business, then I'm going to start the business. Let me tell you something, this is the only moment in time that you have to actually start the thing, right? And you are more than enough and what you have in your hand is more than enough. And I, I'm showing you that because I know that 100% guaranteed. The time is now, start the thing. You can start your business by simply getting a pen and paper and write out all of your goals, the reasons why you're doing what you're gonna be doing, add some flavor and color and detail in the whole business in terms of how you're gonna, how, how you see it, what it's gonna look like, crystallizing things, right? Taking things from the invisible realm, writing it down, crystallizing it so you can actually see it, it will start to take on energy and form and shape. And once you can actually see on that piece of paper, you will literally, seal and concrete this vision it will become much more tangible and real and you'll be able to visit your vision on a daily basis it will be staring at you it'll be talking to you it'll be calling you constantly you'll be waking up and you'll be seeing it talking to you so pull it out of your head these thoughts these things put it down on some paper crystallize it write it all down make the vision plain so that someone can run with it like for example here's an idea let's say you had just some basic information about your business about your goals on some paper and then you put that inside of your, your, your bag and you're walking and then you so happen to bump into somebody and you get speaking to this somebody you sit down you're having a drink maybe you're having a tea or a coffee inside of um, Costa and you know the conversation is pleasant and then the person that you're sitting down with asks you a question oh so what are you doing nowadays and then you say oh, i've just started the business oh really what is it about and then you pull out your piece of paper or your notepad your journal and then they can actually get an overview of the very things that you've been carrying inside your mind inside your heart for ages but the difference now is this you've got it on paper it's crystallized whereas beforehand it was all in your head when you've actually solidified it and a person can see it it becomes much more real and a person can see exactly how they can contribute to your vision how they can contribute to your idea to your plan as well so now it's starting to grow arms and legs the baby's starting to grow now it's just happening right in front of your eyes now what would have happened if you never have wrote it down beforehand writing it down is like a look it is confirmed it is sealed this thing is sanctioned i have it written it is written it's right here okay so who knows who you're going to meet tomorrow if you decide to write it down on some paper today and it can be any kind of paper it can be a piece of tissue it can be a card it can be anything as long as you've got some form of idea and you've crystallized it and pull it out there make it plain so somebody can run with it that is an instruction for you if you know that you need to be doing this or you've this has been spoken to you about beforehand and you've not taken action this is a wake-up call you need to act on it right now take action write it down make the vision plain and then what will happen is you will be in a situation and you're going to know hold on a second i need to pull out this vision of mine and share it with somebody else and then the, it will continue to expand and grow and grow and grow and you'll look back and you'll be like oh my gosh i remember how this started it was a thought written it down now it's a thing and it's great i love it i'm going to continue to walk down this road i'm going to continue to add certain things to this now it's coming together now i've got much more to play with now i've got more contacts now i've got a, a wider database it's brilliant now i can um walk and do certain things that i couldn't do before because i never had a foundation to walk on before or a platform to walk on before it was just all ideas running around inside of my mind 
so well done if you've taken action and you've written out your plan because if you've done that already then you need to be out there speaking about it being active doing things working on it just by having it written down it's great it's a start but then you need to start making some connections okay so i'm going to park right there and go into these powerful four questions you need to ask when starting your business i'm going to start with number one congratulations you've made it this far okay so why are you deciding to start your business this is the most important question why is the why right what is it that you want to get from this business is it what feelings do you want emotions you want to feel excited you want freedom you know you want the the freedom to be able to travel to explore to do things whenever you like go you know rather than having to ask to go to the, the lavatory um get up and go to the to the lavatory whenever you like go and make yourself some food go and travel go and see different people in different places go shopping explore different parts of the world maybe you want to be in your creative space much more make music more make garments pull out your lock stitch machine your overlocker do some pattern cutting get your scissors out and start really getting creative and palatable with all of these different kind of colors and whatnot getting them fabrics together getting your dolly out and dressing it and then cutting that amazing suit out and then eloquently stitching it together in your own time quite therapeutic that isn't it and then once the garments made it's like yes wow i've enjoyed making that garment and now i can have the pleasure of actually selling it to somebody or wearing it for yourself or maybe you're an artist and you like painting them you know you can get your easel out and go somewhere sort of far and random as well and just like park up and pull out your easel and then get your paints out and start painting some lovely beautiful pits, pictures of the landscape or whatever springs to your mind and do whatever you want to do with that artwork it's entirely up to you because you have the freedom to do so anyways and you can do that right now if you choose to do that what is stopping you from doing that right now in fact you know so it's entirely up to you the freedom to do whatever you want to do maybe that's a, a um, one of the wise freedom to explore look at certain things you could be a bookworm and you like to digest information go inside of books and you know read at your own leisure and you know let your imagination go far further afield and you're not restricted to time therefore you can kick back and really enjoy those novels that you're reading or novels that you're writing you know so there's so many different kind of things that can um that your why could be share your why in fact inside of the description box below share your idea share your thoughts you know why do you think it's important for you to start a business if you've started a business why is it important for you to continue on this quest it's essential that you always look at your why that why is like a driving force you know it's ammunition it's like a statement that mandate look this is the reason why i started this business in the first place therefore i will not quit because a quitter never wins and a winner never quits i will not give up i'm going to continue to work on this thing i am not concerned about what they say and what it looks like or what it seems like i know as long as i'm breathing then i can work on this baby of mine and it will continue to grow and it will pick up momentum and then it's going to add so much value to all the other people that are going to actually see the things that you create and be a part of it you're going to leave a legacy a beautiful one for loads of people to admire look at your why moving on what capital do you have to access to I mean sometimes you may think that you need a lot of capital to start your business and and hit the road running but what i found in the past is this now i've come from a background of humble beginnings where i've explored and started quite a few businesses and the reason why i've done so is because i've wanted to see how stuff works that's been my kind of like why i like to learn things i like to look at the mechanics of, of things i've always been like that i remember when i was younger there was this um, thing called big big track it was just like a white toy and you'd type in a command and it would like move a certain yard and then turn left and turn right and xyz and i remember I, um my mum brought it to me it was quite new and i thought i wonder how this works and i got a screwdriver and started opening it up and i was a bit like that i used to like open up things and going in and exploring stuff right so yeah look you know there's so many things that you could be doing i kind of like went off track there didn't i so um, 
yeah, capital, capital, capital. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, so a lot of the times we can talk ourselves out of things thinking that what we have isn't enough, right? I went through a phase where I used to procrastinate so much. I need a better camera. I can't use this phone. It needs to have more pixels. It needs to be a certain size. The microphone needs to be a certain way. When I speak into it, it needs to come out in a certain way. Until then, there is no way that I'm going to think about broadcasting myself. You must be off your rocker, right? There will always be excuses. Oh, I need to get this camera, I need to get that camera. The camera that I'm using now is a Canon G7S. Quite a good camera for what it does, for blogging and filming and stuff. Highly rated, go look it up. Now, although I purchased this camera, I've had this camera sitting down for absolutely ages and hardly used it because my style of grabbing content, when I get the inspiration to share information, I like to be able to just whip out something and film. Now, I know that's the case. However, there was a time where I would procrastinate and say, let me wait until such and such. Let me wait until I've got my perfect scenery in order. Let me wait until everything's just right before I start to share anything. As we speak right now, I'm literally like sitting down inside of a shop on a desk, surrounded by loads of white goods and whatnot. And um, yeah, I've got my laptop here and other things. However, it will do. I'm, I'm able to communicate and, and reach to a, an audience that's interested in aspiring to become greater versions of the self. So I don't mind. It will do. It works. Simple, yet powerful and effective. So what you have is more than enough. If you think you need a huge budget to start, you can have billions of pounds. You know what? The truth is this. If you don't motivate yourself and believe in what you are doing, it's not going to happen. That is the truth. So get into the habit of continuing to do what you know you need to do until it gets done and keep on doing it and keep on doing it and keep on doing it. Creating these habits is so important. Character comes before gifts. This is, I'm speaking, I'm a byproduct of what I'm saying. I know what it's like certain times to have a, a self image that isn't the best. A poor self image is what it's commonly known as. And you can talk yourself out of a lot of things. So what you have in your hand is more than enough. Because you are more than a conqueror, you won't be talking yourself out of a lot of things. Because in this arena, we don't do that. It ain't over until we win. We continue to build. That's what we're about right now. There's no such thing as failure in here, just feedback. But yeah, we'll, we can use the word. Rather not use the word failure though, but hey. You are more than enough. Moving on. Number three, what do you, you know how to do? You know, there is so much information that we have and sometimes we can just say, you know, I know it, so it's not worth much, but someone's trash is someone else's treasure. Just because you know something, it doesn't mean that it has little value because if somebody doesn't know anything, they don't know. So what you know is valuable to somebody else. What you know is a solution to someone else's problem. What you know is brilliant, it's knowledge, which means light. You share that, what you know, people become enlightened. So all of the things that you've picked up and all of the things that um, you've learned throughout your years, your life experiences, courses you've been on, courses you've paid for, information that you've learned, how about you package all of that information, put it into a product, and if you'd like some support doing so, I'd gladly help you. Let's say you've got information on certain hobbies and things that you'd like to put inside of a package. I can help you put that inside of a book, put it online and sell it. I can help you package that, pull it into a, a website, put it inside of a blog. I can help you put it inside of an information product. I can help you put it inside of an online course. We've got all the to to tools inside of this group to make sure that your information, your knowledge can be shared out there further afield adding tremendous value to other people that are interested in it and you will be financially rewarded for your efforts so we've got all the tools here information this is the information age the industrial age is over so don't despise don't despise small beginnings and your information is worth more than silver and gold moving on to the fourth and final one if this failed would you regret it? 
if this failed, would you regret it? Now look at this, by default, if you don't start something that you are passionate about, you failed by default. If you're really passionate about it, why would you hold back in starting the business? People saying certain things to you, talking you out of certain things, maybe it's their perception of how they see things, maybe they don't want you to aspire. Oh, I don't want her to make it before I do. Oh, I don't want him to succeed before I do. Oh, you know that crab mentality. Yeah, the very people that are around us can be our worst enemies certain times, but pose to be your best mates. True talk. I've had to go through that lesson with so-called family members and friends, and, you know, acquaintances and whatnot. But what you do is you just dust yourself off and you plod on and you continue to refine yourself. Walking towards that greatness you know, that path of excellence, trailblazing, staying in your lane, becoming a higher version of yourself. What would happen? If this failed, how would you feel? How would you take it? The way I see it is like this, look. If you start something and perhaps you never got the results that you expected to get, it's feedback, it's beautiful, because now you know exactly um, how you ought to go moving on next time around. Like, okay then, I've got some information I can work with here. Maybe if I tweak it and do it this way, I'll get a certain result that I'm looking for. The person that, in, in, um, the person that invented the light bulb found out thousands of ways how not to make it. Look at that. Now, that person can go straight to a way on how to make it. In fact, now, that very same person can go straight to a place in how to make it even better can you imagine how much that person had learned thousands and thousands of times they may have learned how to make other things and you know they may have discovered some some other inventions whilst going through that process can you imagine how much knowledge wisdom and understanding that person gained from trying these thousands of ways how not to make a light bulb can you imagine how many inventions came out of that wow i'd love to know myself so there you go, there are the four. I'm gonna park there. I hope that that's added some form of value to you and yours and do share your comments if you have some. And if you do need help with your business, then shout out to somebody inside of this group, ask questions, reach out to me. I can pair you up with other people inside of this group because I do know people inside of this group that have some amazing business services that they can assist you with and they are passionate about that hence that's why the reason this, this group's created is to serve you and service leads to greatness so that's it from me kevin clark believing in you keep up the great work enjoy this resurrection season i'm gonna have a ton of fun i'm going on a crazy adventure i'm literally like kitting out my van so i'm gonna like put a, a sofa in there <laughs> put a chair in there tv screen laptop two chairs table a nice rug bluetooth um, speakers and stuff i'm getting like a hamper of snacks driving away to birmingham and i'm just gonna have a really amazing time um because i deserve it don't i <laughs> so yeah i really love you a lot and um thank you for everything as well thanks for your support i don't take it lightly at all you are truly a gift to me so have an amazing day. That's it from me, Kevin Clark. Believing in you. And remember, stay focused. God bless. Bye now.